Okay, hello guys, welcome to my channel. Now, if you want to integrate cosine to the fifth power of x dx, well, when I'm done here, I'm going to give you something to do. To do for sine to the fifth power of x dx. I'll do right five. Okay, that ought to write five. So, we're going to do for sine, right? Well, here, hmm, I'm going to go ahead and split this as always. So, we're going to have the integral of cosine of 4x, cosine of x, dx. This is how I choose to split mine, right? The reason is this. Of course, you're going to see the reason. So, I am can write this one as cosine of square x, and I square it, right? This is the same thing as saying cosine to the fourth power of x. So, I write this as cosine of x, and this is just dx. Well, cosine of square is the same thing as saying 1 minus sine of square x. So I'm going to write this as 1 minus sine of square of that x angle. Okay, square of the angle, that's just x, x, x. Okay, just you just have the 2 here. Well, I just write it here as cosine of x, and I put down the dx, and I put down the integral sign. Hmm. If I make a use of here, this will really work, huh? If I say let my u be equal to sine of x, so let u be equal to sine of x. By doing this, I can differentiate u. I'm going to have du is going to become cosine of x dx. So from here, I can plug this in to the integral. I'm going to have the integral for 1 minus, well, since u is sine x, then sine square x is going to be u squared. So I'll just have it there to be u squared. And you know, this is just the square. I put down the square again. And cosine of x dx just enters with the du. Very nice. So we just put down the du. Hmm. From here, I can split this integral and I do some integration of the polynomial function and we are done. So we're going to enter it. So I'm going to expand this integral here. I'm going to have 1 minus 2u squared, you know, and then plus u to the first power and I'll now put down the d and that is it. You know, you square 1, now multiply 2 with 1, that's 2. We multiply with negative 4 here, that's negative 2 with the u squared. Okay, so we just take this and we just square it. We have a positive u to the fourth power, and that is it. Hmm. Well, this is just more like a polynomial function. You know what? We just have to increase the power by 1 and divide by the new power. And that will become, we increase the power of x here, which is just like same power 0. So we increase it by 1 by adding 1. We're going to have the power of x to the power 1, then we divide it by the denominator by the new power which is just 1 and here we just have 2u to the third degree divided by 3 plus u to the fifth de degree divided by 5 and you know what? you need to get back to the original variable how did I put x here? sorry that was u alright I'm, I'm already back to the original variable so that's just u well where u is just sine x so we just have sine of x minus 2 over 3 sine of cube x and then plus um, this is just 1 over 5 sine of fifth x I know what we are done so we just add a plus c so this one right here is for you